Hey yo guys, it's me your friendly neighborhood ship and Tobin checking in for another episode of Paper Hats. We are here over at CJ's base. Um our main man CJ, our lovely friend, he is the one that I alluded to that wanted a lighthouse. He's actually commissioned us all to do some little builds over at his base and stuff. And I'm thinking we claim this island here and we make it go like a mountain esque hill type thing and build a lighthouse on top of it maybe this is the best one i could find for the idea that i had so i might get in contact with him and see exactly where he wanted me to build it because doing something like that there connecting up this here over to it and having like a little alcovey bit i feel like could look quite nice um but yeah we'll talk to cj and see if this is okay or maybe actually this one's a little bit bigger we could build this up and have like a cliff edge facing out i feel like it's got to be closer to the sea i'll speak to him about it and see exactly what he thinks i'll see you once we got some clearance off of off of mr cj so i just spoke to cj and he wants it in this area here which I think could actually work a little bit better as opposed to those two islands there because we can make a nice cliff face there facing out onto it and they've got to come through it to go through. We might build up that side as well and kind of give it like... Um, so where I live, there's a place called Durdle Door, um, which looks absolutely amazing. And in the, the uh, editing, Shep, put a picture in the video now to explain what it looks like. But yeah, it just, it, I feel like if we could customize this to have a dirtle door feel and they sort of walk in. But the first thing we need to do is get rid of all of these trees to know what we're working with. So let's do that. So here we go, we've got a layout in place for sort of how I want it to arch across. So it's going to be building up. I might push this one back further um, to go up and connect. But yeah, it's going to be going across all of here. We're going to have it swooping in kind of like a circular thing there um, where they go through. And then on one of the sides, we'll have the actual lighthouse. and. One thing you may hear in the background right now, just to pre-warn you, is a couple of dogs. I'm recording this whilst at my dad's house. Um, I've come over to look after the dogs and they are just deciding they want to walk around and be a part of this recording. So enjoy the sound of pitter-patter doggos. But yeah, let's get in to putting the stone in place because this grass is actually where all of the stone is and the grass goes on top of the stone. So. I'll see you in a second. So there we go, we've got the the generic part of it in place. Obviously we still need to roughen up the edges, make it a little bit more pristine and get all of like the grass part in and put a lighthouse on it. 
I'm gonna make like a little covey area beach type thing here. Probably gonna make it quite like beaten down looking style cliff face thing majig. But yeah, I think it looks I mean it doesn't look good yet, let's be honest. I think it looks like it's got potential. <laughs> it's like when you move into a new home, you can't look at it from how it looks when you move in because you haven't done your finesse on it yet. So I still need to finesse this. Do some alcoves, do some jutty out bits, do some more like type stuff on it. And just get it looking a little bit more pretty. But I have to go feed this dog apparently who you can probably hear in the background tittering and tattering. So I'll see you in a second. And there we go, with some more detailing done, a few more holes, I've included the cobblestone into the actual wall itself. I feel like it's come together really nicely. This being an actual circle, the cobble being in place, I feel like this has actually given it that extra completed feel. And just given everything what I kind of wanted it to look like. And obviously I get that that's a bit janky up top, that that is easily fixed whilst we build the actual um what's it called lighthouse lighthouse that's the word i mean i'm thinking of doing the lighthouse on that side here which i know he said he wanted it on this side but i just feel like it's going to be better there but yeah uh let's fix this a little bit this top bit um, and this parping here, I've realized this is actually quite weird. And I'll get back to you. And here we go. We've got this a bit more figured out, worked out some of the kinks type of stuff, threw in some cobble, worked out this parthing. It does slope down a little bit better type of thing. And we also fixed up some of this, as you can see by the dirt, because I've got no grass left. If I show you that now, there we go. I feel like we've pretty much finished off the actual mountainscape itself and um, there's a few like I want to put some vines and stuff some leaf foliage things around um but that's more detailing and stuff like that than anything else in like actual build structure I'll probably do stuff like that in streams um but I feel like it's time to build the lighthouse should we just yeah let's do it let's do this episode why not why not? You know, we can do what we want. This is my channel, so I can do what I want. So let's figure out where exactly we're going to put this and how big we're going to make it and all of that sort of stuff. Fun. <laughs> I'll come back when we've got a, a, a build palette and a, a build placement place the thing. Floor plan. That's the word. Floor plan. See you in a sec. I figured out a design for CJ's Lighthouse. And I'm really excited for how it's going to look. I've tested it out in the creatives. Um, but I need some dark oak. And I came over here and I was like, oh, cool. One diamond for two stacks. There's two stacks. <clears throat> so I guess we're going to go do some dark oak choppery knees. Now I need to find a dark oak forest. Uh, where's the dark oak forest? Uh... Um, over to the map. So here we are on the map. This is spawn area, shopping, my island, and then Mr. B's and all of the other people's. And then if we click this button, it'll figure out the biomes for us. So if we go back onto here, you can see that our mining place is just here. Okay, so it's pretty central. If I do that then, you can see there's a little bit over here. And it shows the chunk down in the bottom corner. Um, so we're probably going to go there and just decimate this place and fill a full shulker. I won't need a full shulker for this, but fill a full shulker of dark oak logs to just pot in that place. Because I feel like that's going to be the best idea. So let's get in and do that. So here we are in the rooted forest, dark oak placey thing. And all we're going to do is going to pop our shulkers down here. And we're just going to decimate this place and just fill up a shulker as quick as possible and then get back and build the the thingamadoofa for cj 
and just get it done. Because this episode has taken many days to record now, and I need to move on to the next one. Yeah, let's go! So, here we go. I've got the layout set up for CJ's Lighthouse. So, this is how big we're looking at for a lighthouse. I've done it on this side as opposed to that side. I feel like it makes it makes a little bit more sense in the way I'm going to do some terraforming around it. Um, it's just going to work better on this side. And the way that the lighthouse is sort of laid out, it just makes more sense. So, now, let's get on to the replay. Well, there we go. That is the lighthouse fully made. I've done some extra stuff. I've did the actual lighthouse part, the lighthouse. You know, the only bit that was really needed. I did some extra terraforming here to make it look like the building is kind of bore, uh, built into the ground to give it a better foundation type stuff. Did a bit more terraforming, putting the windows, all of that sort of thing to just make things look ex... Uh, I guess I'm not climbing up that extra pretty and I really like how this has turned out so I guess we're gonna have to talk to CJ because one I don't know whether he wants me to do the interior or if he's doing the interior but we'll just speak to him and see what he wants well I spoke to Mr CJ off camera and he let me know that he doesn't want an exterior an exterior an interior inside things Um, he's not worried about that he just wanted to make sure that the building Thing lit up which as you can see up there the lights are going round which is perfect and he wanted the building and I made him a cliff so if he wants to put something else on the other side he can but yeah that means this episode is done oh I'm gonna tell you that this episode has taken about a week to record um, and that's why we did have a break in recordings is because I was doing this and I didn't want to overzealous myself by doing multiple things. But yeah, I love all of your faces and I will see you in the next one. But first, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, do all of the things and the stuff and the things. And I'll see you in the next one. Good. Bye.